the multinational joint tax force has carried out a medical outreach to internally displaced persons who are taking refuge at Mongono local government area of Borno State. The outreach is part of an effort by the MNJTF to facilitate the stabilization of the Lake Chad region and to support survivors of the 12-year insurgency. Correspondent Jesse Tafida reports. The 12 years of Boko Haram insurgency has dealt a big blow to the northeast region. Borno is the worst hit with destruction of livelihood and basic communities. About 60% of its health facilities were destroyed as a result, and about 1 million people lost access to health care services. It is not over yet, but already the multinational joint tax force is looking ahead and employing a non kinetic approach to resettling the region. It is reaching out to the survivors of the insurgency with free medical services. Mongno town, about 130 kilometers from the state capital, is housing 800,000 IDPs from five local government councils. This medical outreach by the MNJTF is made possible with support from the United Kingdom, United States, France, and the Lake Chad Basin Commission countries. They are always behind us. When they see anything, they will definitely cheat their community. They don't, they don't think twice to report to us. And uh, because of that, we have to equally reach out to them to reciprocate. We can't be protecting them fiscally and then hell is ravaging the people. This operation will allow each sector to benefit from nearly 8 million CFA of various pharmaceutical products. Beneficiaries here are mostly women, children and those with traumatic cases. She says, I'm very much excited with this intervention. I've been given free drugs and some items that will greatly assist my mother. This one says, I fell from a truck in 2014 while trying to flee from Boko Haram and sustained various degrees of injuries. Since then, I've not been able to walk, but I'm now happy to have this wheelchair. I'm grateful to the multinational joint tax force. The outreach featured distribution of antenatal kits to pregnant women, dispensing of drugs for diagnosed diseases such as malaria, diarrhea, ear and stomach pain. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri.